Hi, today we're going to talk about the information flow subsystem of EAC's product development operating system. So pre-1980, there were no IT groups and there were no great numbers of knowledge workers. But with the emergence of the computer and the dawning of the information age, there was an explosion of IT tools that transformed business systems. In product development, uh, the product development business system, uh, these tools first focused on helping the individual. So we had CAD and uh, CAM tools for mechanical and electrical engineers. We had tools uh, that applied uh, synthetic annealing to optimizing optical design. And we had tools that helped with simulating or analyzing the designs that uh, came forward. More recently, uh, there's been an emergence of more complex tools that facilitate product development. Uh, product data management tools, uh, tools for collecting uh, and archiving project information, and a variety of tools that help in supporting decision-making and product development. Product development is a knowledge-centric function of the organization, but the topic of knowledge management itself is one that spreads in a lot of directions. But if we look at the IT backbone that supports knowledge management, that topic converges on a small number of complex, connectable, but functionally focused IT systems. We're interested in making informed decisions. That's simply decisions that are supported and influenced by real-time information. Getting the appropriate information to the decision maker at the right place at the right time is the goal of the information flow subsystem. This information flow subsystem is also a subsystem of your IT system. And in both of these, these systems, there are two critical jobs uh, for the subsystem. The first is to support the goals of that system itself. And the second is to uh, interact, look at the aspect of the interaction between this subsystem and the other subsystems in its parent system, those being the IT system and the product development operating system. We've been devising a visual model to help you uh, remember uh, the product development operating system. And in our model, the information flow system is the foundation. It's so critical, it supports the rest of the system. Uh, the knowledge-centric product development, a strong information flow is critical to inform the decisions that are made in both the workflow subsystem and the continuous improvement subsystem. Without it, we have nothing. Anyway, that's all I have. That's what I have for today. Um, we'll continue with these videos, these video blogs going forward. I hope you found today's informative or provocative. Thanks again for your time and your attention. Mm -hmm.